Hello Cancerians and very welcome to your April 2022 general reading with myself, Thomas Janak. You are watching Thomas's Tarot page. Please like, subscribe and share. And if you like my work, you can now buy me a coffee on buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. That's buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. Now, Cancerians, what we will do, we will actually look at um, different sections briefly. We will look at the overall energy as it presents itself to you in the month of April. Before we then go into your emotional core, what can go, what comes in, how do your emotions play out in the month of April. And then we will actually um, go into opportunities and opportunities are about what sustains you financially, if that makes sense, right? So you are the sign of cancer. You are, you are governed by the moon and you are represented by the fourth house. And we are in the, in the fourth months. So the number four, because it, it is a number that sort of is in your energy, in your DNA at all times, even if the houses move and the planets move, right? when you were born and the universe took a snapshot, you are still governed by the fourth house. And because this month we happen to be in the fourth months, it's understanding that the, the number four by default is a number that tells you, I'm quite a kick-ass number here, right? While the number three is the number of progression and the number five is the number of change, the number four can feel like you're stuck in between. But when you look at it logically, the, 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 the four that you have also as a depiction, even though it's just a number, when you really look at it, it looks a bit like a chair, right? And so you decide what chair you're sitting in. Are you in a chair that is static and you're just trying to get through things? Or are you in one of those chairs like on the bridge of the Enterprise? Choof, let's fly, right? So what they're showing you here is to understand that because you have four and four in the same months, um, you have an extra or an additional um, energy that you can work with. And because you're sort of in between progressing progression and change so you might be at this point in time because we are talking about the month of april here <clears throat> you might be at crossroads you might also just be someone that has just started something so you don't quite know where this is going right if that makes sense which would be change would be number five um and all the guides are saying as well you know hold on tight right you're sitting in a chair there's not that much that can happen to you so i think Energetically speaking, when you look at the numbers, what they're asking you to have is a lot of faith, right? That things will play out and that you are safe in them. Now, that sounds a lot like your overall energy already. And sometimes my guides talk and we don't have to get to the cards, if that makes sense. I still will ask them if they have anything to add. And yes, they're only adding the Puma to your overall energy. And the Puma is also called the Mountain Lion and what that means is because you have the same animal having different names um, in the analogy, it means that, you know, while you're going towards something that you may not have experienced, at least not experienced for some time, right? So new beginnings, if that makes sense, while you're going um, to um, establish yourself, right? The puma is really adaptable. So energetically speaking, for your overall energy, there isn't all that much to worry about. The issue that the energy here brings for Cancerians is that sometimes you don't want to be in a chair, right? You just don't want to be in between anything. And patience is a virtue, and they're asking you to have patience this very month and just see how things are playing out. So let's look at your um, emotions. Let's see what we got for you emotionally. You got the badger and the, scr and the, and the screech owl, right? Let me just show you. You got the badger, the badger, and the screech owl. Okay, Cancerians, when it comes to your emotional well-being, if that makes sense, you have to understand that while you totally understand 
what it is that actually needs to change, not everybody hears you right. So overly explaining things goes nowhere. And it is part of your well-being, part of understanding how to deal with stress and how to deal with sort of a bit of uh, upset or something that needs to change is to do rather than say, if that makes sense. So if you are in a position where um, you have to push someone to do that, right? Saying it 10 times will not work. So look at what changes can you make that speeds whatever the other person isn't doing, what speeds set up, if that makes sense, right? So really, really important because you have the screech owl. And as an owl, you already know that whatever and however you feel emotionally um, has to be sustainable. So therefore, you owe it to yourself to be in a good place. And energetically speaking, in April with the two fourth, so which means you're sort of in between things, right? Um, allow things to grow a little before you see them as ultimate um, realities, right? So <clears throat> sometimes, you know, things take some time before they really blossom, if that makes sense, right? Um, and if you can't see them blossom, um, don't throw stuff away just because you can't see it yet, right? So a little bit of patience is really, really needed for you with regards to anything that has to do with your emotions. And at the same time, what I'm getting strong for Cancerians, and I understand this is a general reading, it may not resonate with all of you. What they've given me is that there are energies, or maybe people, if that makes sense, in your life, if that is you, um, that are dragging their heels. And if they are dragging their heels and you have said things a couple of times, maybe there's someone else you can speak to who can sort things out quicker, right? So let's have a look at your opportunities as they come to you in the month of April 2022 for the sign of Cancerians. Like I said, you're watching Thomas' Tarot page with myself, Thomas Yannack. Please like, subscribe and share because it really allows me to grow that channel. Well, you have the dancer of life and the dancer of friendship. Now, energetically speaking, with regards to opportunities, things are getting already much easier for Cancerians. You have the dancer of life, which means new things are coming in, which give you, which will give you new energies, right? New beginnings, again, right? New beginnings with regards to opportunities are already here. So while you're going through, this is the way they show it to me, through a phase of huh, adopting to new things, if that makes sense, new situations, you have the dancer of life. You will, you will just smash it, right? It's nothing to worry about with regards to new beginnings that have to do with anything that sustains you financially um, to not make them work. You also have the dancer of friendship, which means that while you are getting to know new people or while you are getting to know new scenarios, um, the universe sends you, if that makes sense, a lot of really nice people that you can and will get to know as friends, if that makes sense, right? What I'm getting here strongly is to make sure not to cross any lines with them. So if there is a uh, um, uh, if this is at work and there's a party coming up, make sure you're not dancing with everybody just yet, <laughs> right? Because you have to dance of friendship. Things need to progress. You can't speed things up, if that makes sense. But the universe will send you a lot of people in when you are looking for opportunities that help you grow in whatever area you are looking for advice and for help. Okay, Cancerians, I hope that helped because... I only work here and that's all I got for the sign of cancer for the month of April 2022. And I see you all next time.